Let me do more mash for you. There you go. Hey! Set, go! There you go. Come on. Pulley, you got to bring both feet with you, Pulley. Don't stretch for it. Ready? Set, go! There you go, Pulley. Ready? Set, go! One, two, three! Oh,
Hey guys, Coach Frank here. It's uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to coach you guys this season, second season, and uh, just a, an opportunity here now to reflect on all that we've accomplished, which really is so much. When when you look back, you think about where we came from, right? A one in seven season. Uh, not really sure, right? We really didn't have an identity, um, and and we've come a long way since then. I see a lot of confidence in eyes now. I see a lot of. Um, uh, I see a lot of guys that want to go out there and, and make plays and, and strive to to achieve. And if you look at uh, at today, right, uh, 14 and four over two years, uh, semifinal appearance and taking a, a state championship contender all the way to the fourth quarter. Um, I, I, all I've got to say is I'm super proud of this team. I'm super thankful for this team buying into the culture that we needed to uh, implement, a culture of physicality, a culture of brotherhood, uh, right? We talked about um, last year, our theme was, it's not about uh, it's not about where, uh, where you've been, it's about where you're going. And this year, we, we focus all about the ship, right? We talked about everything we were gonna do this season was all about winning a championship. And while we didn't achieve that, we achieved so much more. Um, I'm thankful for the coaches, the brotherhood and, and the coaches, um, some, some lifelong friends and, and relationships that I developed there. I'm thankful for our parents and the support and alignment that we had this year in pursuit of our, our goal. And um, I'm thankful for all the players, uh, all the time they invested. Uh, the last thing I'll have to say is um, there's more to football than just football. And when you think about uh, uh, that concept or that, that, uh, that comment, uh, this year, particularly with coronavirus, uh, we didn't have anywhere to turn in March. We were hearing that there was this virus in the world and there was uh, you know, not, not a whole bunch to do, right? We were locked in our houses. And um, I was thankful to have football as an opportunity to start with virtual workouts, um, right? Those evolved into workouts at Mac, um, which eventually progressed into um, workouts at the field. And, and then we were very lucky to have a season. And so thank you for that experience. Um, thank you guys for being so inspirational. Um, coming from travel football to um, a feeder program where we had to change the culture, I learned so much about uh, how much capacity and um, how much mental attitude has to has to do with winning. Um, so thank you for that opportunity. Um, I can't wait to watch you guys as you progress, uh, progress your futures as no longer junior Eagles, but Eagles as freshmen. Um, I know I'll watch some of you at, at the high school level and some of you um, even beyond that. So continue to reach for your goals and uh, thanks for the opportunity again to, to coach you guys. Thanks guys. And I want to start off by, by thanking the, the players who were with us back three years ago in the sixth grade. You know, we had uh, not, not the best season, but when we showed up the next season and, and less than half of you came back, uh, that really showed a lot of heart, a lot of determination. Um, and then into that seventh grade season through the off season as we're going through our off season training and spending time up at Fury, uh, going through our workouts and seeing how our football family starts to grow and come together as, as, a, as a different type of team. We had to learn to, uh, to work and, and operate under a different culture. Uh, so the most important thing that I learned as a coach the past year was just you know, continually you know, reinforce these young men. Uh, if they make a mistake, you know, don't jump on them too hard. Just coach them up. You know, get them ready for the next play. You know, my experience uh, over these last two years has, has been great. You know, we came in uh, last year. Uh, the team had kind of a down year in the sixth grade. You know, brought in a new culture, a couple new faces, and you know, really made this team believers. Uh, one of the things I hope to leave with you, though, is uh, some of the things that Coach Frank and I put together for you. One of them was the armband and what it really means about finishing the drill and, and how we associated that with, uh, with 2 Timothy 4 through 7. You know, and we talked about 2 Timothy. We talked about Paul, who was told by God that he was going to go out into the world and he was going to create churches and he was going to let people know that Jesus Christ had come to save, their, save them and give them everlasting life. And Paul got persecuted for this. He got beat up, he was shipwrecked, they stoned him, uh, but he kept the fight. And one of the things on your armband it does say about it is that he fought every day. Uh, he finished every day and he kept the faith every day. So my thoughts and my prayers are for all you guys to do that in your lives. I want you to be successful and uh, I want you to know something, that God loves you. And uh, I love you, and my family does too. So my personal message long term for you is this, if you ever need anything, hey, you're part of my family. I'm here for you and your family. You just reach out to me and I'll do whatever I can for you. But I'm super proud to have been a part of this team this year. Thanks for letting me uh, participate.